Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca, Stu, and the crew. I'm Rebecca, and today we have a new Dollar Tree video for you guys to see what's new, what's been restocked at the Dollar Tree. This will be for Friday, August the 4th, 2023. So let's go shopping and see what's new. In apparel and accessories, we have these new crew socks. They are one pair, and they're $1.25. They had the Old Bay which has like the um, Old Bay seasoning with the crabs on the front. And then I found the Mountain Dew socks. These were the only two fashion socks I found. They had quite a bit of them, but just these two pair. I also found these Minichi socks. It's women's shoe sizes 4 to 10. The tag right there, if you look underneath, says $6.99 for one pair of socks. They're, of course, just $1.25 now. You can get them in the light tan or the black with the tan mixed together. And they both have this little ruffle at top and they are also a crew sock then there were these youth style shirts in the neon we have orange and neon yellow they are 50 percent cotton 50 percent polyester the orange one had this really pretty white speckling throughout we've also got some new tank tops um, these are adult and adult small youth large um, they have these ties at the bottom they say youth large, but they fit my 20 year old. So they are actually quite large for their sizing. Then we have the 100% polyester style shirts, which are those moisture wicking shirts that are like for athletics. And then we've got these long sleeve shirts with the cuffs at the bottom. Uh, some of these were the Sophie brand shirts and some of them were the Gildan brand. We've also got the Gildan large t-shirts that are the baseball style shirts. They had the gray with the black sleeves and the black around the neck. They had adult, small, medium, and large. Then they had the white with the red sleeves or the white with the black sleeves. And those are heavy cotton. We've got the all style shirt. This is purple and then the uh, gray with the V neck. We also have these for lack of a better word, they're like a wife beater style tank top. And they're more like a dress. They fit from the end of the cart all the way to the opposite end. Um, so they're like a dress style. They had those in white, gray, and in black. And then we've got the Mossy Oak Breakup Infinity shirt. Those are the long sleeve Mossy Oak shirts. Um, they had quite a bit of those and a bunch of shirts in the front, even some of the Dollar Tree Plus shirts that have been marked down to $1.25. Now let's see what's new over in the Arts and Crafts. They've restocked a lot of their wood pieces. We've got a bunch of the wood um, house shapes, uh, a couple different sizes, tons of different signs, different styles that you could purchase. They've got the houses that are the um, signs that you sit on a shelf that have the chalkboard on them, some of them that you can hang, and then the wood palette signs they have restocked in the light brown dark brown and the black. They have the poor panel wood pieces, the larger plaques. They even have some of the um, shelves and things restocked. We've got the magic wands, the small uh, crates here with the cutout on the side. You either got the regular handles or the start cutouts. Then we've got the large um, planks here. Those are signs, they come in two sizes. The wood pallet houses, three colors, the fish. They have the little um, cutting board or cheese board. Some more of the wood shelves. Those come in two sizes. We've got the pallet look here with the boho style in two uh, sizes. We've got a rectangle and a square. Those are about an inch thick. Then the wood pallet signs. They had some new ones with the bead hangers. They have a square one here and then a heart. They're a decent size. They have the three part wood pallet sign that hangs vertical and the wood cubes have been restocked. Those are a two by two inch cube. And then they brought back the um, stencil sponges. We have the foil flakes. Those are the smaller size jars. You could also get these in the plus section in larger jars. Uh, but this jar is 0 0.035 ounces. They come in silver, gold, and copper. The rub on transfers, it's the boho style. Lots of pink, blue, and gold. And then there's the farmhouse items, little signs, 
a bull, gardening rakes, axe. And then they have the um, trim, kind of like the edging. And then the flowers have been restocked. Those are the pink, green, and blue flowers, which are really pretty. And now for the baby and toddler items, let's see what's new over there. They had these new packs of medicine dropper with the nasal aspirator. It has all of the measurement on the side of the medicine dropper in milliliters and some new head wraps. These are so cute. We've got the pink background with the floral and pink and blue, a little bit of green, and then the blue background with the watermelon and it has a bow at the top. They're really cute. We've also got some new body wash, baby shampoo by Arm and Hammer Essentials. Now for the health and beauty, we'll start with cosmetics first. I found a bunch of these LA Colors misters. They are a um, face mister. It says it primes and refreshes makeup. They had Guava, and those are a 0.51 fluid ounce spray bottle. We've also got watermelon. The grapefruit. And then we had cucumber. They also had this one, it was coconut scented. Then they had some of the LA Colors Roll-On Super Shiny Lip Gloss, and they had that in guava. It says it's scented and super shiny. They had the cucumber melon and grapefruit. Then I found this um, end cap with the Lip Smackers Best Flavor Forever lip balm they've got the vanilla and cotton candy scent there was also strawberry chocolate chip cookie the yellow one here is pink lemonade and tangerine mandarin we've got the unicorn mermaid and fairy um, scent i'm not sure what um, flavors they are because they're all called something different like Unicorn Delight and Fairy Pixie Dust. So it doesn't really specify. And then we've got the Disney Princess. We've got Jasmine Berry Magic, Moana Blueberry Wave. There's Mulan One Tough Cookie. And then I found Belle, which was Tea Party Treats. They had some soda flavored ones. We've got Coca Cola Vanilla. They had the Fanta Strawberry. Fanta Grape, and then Fanta Orange. They also had the Barks Root Beer flavor. And then there were these eyeshadow palettes by Flower. That is a Drew Barrymore brand. You get these four colors, which are really pretty, and they're usually hanging in these bags in the cosmetic aisle. Now for hair care items. They had these new barrettes, which are so pretty. They have the embroidered flowers and the one on the top and the snap clip. It has the embroidered flowers, really pretty. Also, we have some new claw clips. So this one is in like a light peach. So they have the scrunchie brand, a couple of Walmart, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree brands. Um, they're all basically the same shape. I know the shape is really in style. They have pearls, an iridescent one. Um, one of them that is like a pink with the holographic look a little bit. The flowers with the pearl finish. And then we have some of these larger claw clips. Um, by the Scunchy and the Dollar Tree brands. So they're all very similar. They almost look like they're made by the same company, just on different backings of the cards. You've got the lemon one back in, which is so cute. And then the paint splatters with the pink and green and the yellow and white. Then we have some scrunchies that are a satin finish with these little pearls on them that have uh, like a floral design. They almost feel like a polymer clay that's been hardened the style bead that it is. And then we've got these scrunchies with the um, paisleys on them. So they have one that is blue, red, and white. They have the black, red, and white, little hints of gold. They're almost hard to tell which one is which. They're so close in color. And then they have this really pretty sunflower yellow. Then I found these scrunchies with the ribbons attached. These are a really nice satin finish. They had the purple with the pink, purple, and blue stripes on the ribbon. 
And then we've got the sage green. It has some light peach and green. And the ribbon at the bottom is so pretty. We also have a blue scrunchie. It has a little bit more of blue in the ribbon at the bottom. And the last one is this peach color, almost like an apricot. And it has more of the peach on the ribbon. We have some of these um, extra thick headbands. Those are the ones that are stuffed. They have two of them. One has the darker blue flowers and the other one has a little bit lighter blue. A little hints of orange and pink mixed in. For the pharmacy and personal care items this week, we have the exfoliating washcloths restocked in some different colors. They have them out in this peach color and soft baby blue. We also have the hot and cold iPads. We've got the daisies and then the cheetah print. They brought back the large bath sponges that look like a flower. They have the green and the pink flower. And those do have hangers on them so you can hang them up. And lastly, they've got the charcoal um, toothbrushes. They had some new ones in this week and you get those in a two pack. For fun finds, I was really surprised all the Dollar Trees are starting to put in these end caps with gift cards, which I think is great. Sometimes you're there and you know need a gift card and you can just run in. I really like how many they have. They have lots of different options. There's Amazon, Google, Disney. Um, there's like Sephora, DSW, Bath and Body Works, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. If you can't find the end caps, they have a few smaller pieces hanging on the card shelves that also have gift cards at some of the smaller stores. Then I found these really cool magnets. They are a ceramic magnet. This is like Dare to be Different, Always Be Kind, 100% cute they also had this one that says think happy thoughts one that looks like a coffee cup it says it's a new day and then they had this one that says omg and the layered look now for the home decor in home decor they had these gorgeous vases they're like a really dark purplish red color and then they have the blue ones these vases are so pretty and i put them next to one of the smaller um glass jars that they've been carrying so you guys can see the difference in size they're about eight inches tall they're quite large we also got the pillars uh the glass pillars back in in these four by four frames with the metal uh frame and the clear glass that has the easel style stand on the back and they had those in the silver and gold now for the home library office supplies and teaching tree Okay, so in the teaching tree section, they have some new items for the classroom, like the sight word list. You get 30 cards in each packet. They have the grammar list. They have the sight words for first, second, third. I believe there is kindergarten and pre-K as well. They get easier, obviously, for the younger kids and get harder as they go up in age. We've got the sight words for social studies. And then they also had a packet with the sight words for um, math. They had, like you know, of course, words that go with each subject, like multiplication, division, and things like that. Then we've got these large photo signs. They're like 11 by 14. It's a dry erase board, and they are double-sided. It's so like this one says first day back to school, and then the last day of school and what grade they were in, which is really fun. They also have this one here with the rainbow, and this is what's on the back. It says, uh, like, the date, what their favorite subject is, how old they are, and what they want to be when they grow up. And then there's this one that looks like a piece of notebook paper with all the information you can fill out. Just be careful posting too much private information about your little one on the internet, of course. It could be a little bit dangerous if you make these public. Over in the Housewares Home Maintenance Storage and Organization, they brought back these storage essential bins um, that you can add these multi-purpose organizers to, which I just think is a great product. So you can get this bin here, it has snapping lock closures on the sides, and then they have these smaller bins. So the orange ones, you get four. The turquoise, you get three. And the gray, you get two pieces. So you can configure these all different ways in the box. You can use the smaller bins to organize smaller items, the larger ones, obviously, or mix and match. So I think it's a really neat product that they sell. And they tend to sell out pretty quickly. It takes a while to get some of the storage bins back in. They've got a bunch of their um, boxes, bags, and bins in different colors. Um, like the coral, the blue, and the white, and then they've got the teal, blue, and white. And they have a whole bunch of different bins, trash bins, boxes, baskets, you name it. They have it. Those are found on 
the end caps at most stores. Then I found these toilet cleaning gel. You get one dispenser with 14 flower stamps. So you can use these multiple times. Over in the kitchen and pantry, they had some new dishes like this blue set with this really pretty ribbing down the side. So you get the coffee cup. They have the salad and dinner plates. Um, the bowls were just a solid blue. They didn't have the lines on them. So I'm not sure if they were meant to go together or not. But I thought paired up with the silver charger. They looked really pretty. You can even add in some of the lemon dishes. I think that looked nice together. Or you've got the gray and white uh, dish sets that they have out. And they're starting to put more of their fall items out. Like the dishes with the fall leaves. That look really pretty with the gold chargers. And those plates stay grateful. They have uh, water glasses, dinner plates, bowls, and salad plates. They have their um, reusable coffee cups in a three pack. And there are four new ones out. They have that white one there about the adventure, the blue one, a gray one, and a green one. And they all have sayings on them that we've seen before, but I really love the color scheme that they have. I think the blue and the green one are absolutely gorgeous. They've got the cinnamon toast crunch creamy cinnamon spread. I've seen these at like Walmart and things like that. Those are the full size jars. And then they have a lot of drinks stocked this week. They've got the buy. They also have the Minute Maid um, fruit beverage and some of the Vector Allen's coffee flavors. We've got Twix, Snickers. They also have vanilla, pumpkin spice, mocha. There's a raspberry mocha and a caramel. And those are all the eight fluid ounce cans. They have the water drop-ins. Um, you get about six packs for each box. And these are the hydrating uh, version so think of kind of like a Gatorade now for the party supplies this first they had these three packs of candles they have this really cute dinosaur and you get a glitter star in yellow and in green so that's a three pack we have the happy birthday with the rainbows they have the the uh, princess crown you get a star and a heart glitter candle the three pack of balloons that say happy birthday then we've got the happy birthday uh, letters and you could either get those in the primary or the pastel colors. You get 13 candles in each pack. This 20 pack of the primary colors with the polka dots and a bunch of tissue paper. So this one has um, some metallic in it. We've got the eight pack sheets with the different words like happy birthday, celebrate. They have rainbows, flowers. And then in those sets, you usually get like half of it is the printed style tissue paper and the other half will be the solid colors Though they do have a few packs that have all printed um sheets like this happy birthday one here with the blue pink green and yellow and they have a few boho styles they have this really pretty navy blue and white and then some more of the happy birthday so they just restocked a lot of those this week i also found um, a bunch of their metal pails restocked. So they have a whole bunch of the ones with the animals, which are so cute. We've got the monkey, panda bear, and a shark. They have a cat, a dog, a bumblebee, and a penguin. And then they have a lot of the striped ones. So you get the smaller stripes. Those are usually more in like a pastel summer style colors. And then the ones with the larger stripes or the solid colors are usually more of the primary colors, though they do occasionally throw in some softer colors like pink and white. They have the solid, like white, blue, red, green, and orange. And then, of course, the striped ones. They've also got a bunch of their character cups, like Mickey Mouse, the Disney Princess, Yoda, and uh, Minnie Mouse. We also have these fringe backdrops. Um, these are really cute. They have them in pink, red, blue, gold, and the rainbow. And you could either use these in a doorway or you could put them against a wall and use them as a photo op. They have their scalloped edge containers for candy. They're a little bit larger than the ones in the square style. And those were just restocked this week. The pet care, we've got these fleece blankets in the blue and the gray. And they also had some new rope toys out that were a lot larger for bigger dogs. Now for the toys, games, and entertainment. This week they had out Tons of these movies. They had Blu-rays. They had action pack kids movies, um, comedies, even some pretty popular ones like Pitch Perfect. I also found some card games like Family Feud and Uno. There's the travel set of Uno cards, although it is a full deck. And then we've got the glow in the dark eyeglasses. These would be fun for Halloween for doing different costume ideas. 
Then they have a lot of these sand and clay sets that come with the molds. They had the car and fuel station, also the cafe where you get three dough, three molds, one tool. There's the castles, you get sand, three molds. And then the creative cupcake comes with the dough, two molds and a tool. The birthday, you get three molds, one tool. And the glitter unicorns, that comes with the sand, three molds. And then the outer space, you get the sand, the molds, and a tool, and the glow sea life. And now for the seasonal items. So we have lots of gnomes. They have the ceramic gnomes. There's girls and boys. Um, some of them are holding sunflowers, pumpkins, and acorns. These were out a few weeks ago, and they just brought them back in. We also have some stuffed gnomes that look like an ornament. They have some Halloween ones. And then the ones that are dressed up on the picks, these are like a Frankenstein. They have some that are dressed up like ghosts. And then the ones with the pumpkin hats and the gray beards, and those are on the picks. We also have the large 10-inch gnomes that sit on a shelf for fall. They have a little pumpkin on their hat, one of them that says fall with the beard. And then the girls have the braids on the sides, and there are four of those. close-ups for y'all then we have the fall ornament style gnomes um, with the uh, fall colors the leaves on the hats you get two in a pack they do have a hanger on the hat then some more of the picks we have the gnomes with the red beards and the sunflowers the yellow hat with the leaf. We have the gray hats with the leaves and the gray beards. And then a red hat with leaves and a white beard. We have the large sunflower picks. There's the cream color, the dark burnt orange, and then the traditional yellow. Those all have the gold glitter centers. We have the glitter clip-on maple leaves. You get two pieces. For $1.25, they also have the burlap leaves. Those come in a pack. We had the red and the tan. Those are repeats from last year. They brought back the corn. Those come in a two-pack, and there's two colors. One's a little bit darker orange, and they also have the yellow. We've got the eight-piece of the buffalo plaid maple leaves and the pumpkins. Also, there's the eight-pack of the mini bales of hay and the resin pumpkins. They have the large wreath form that looks like a pumpkin. Those are very popular each year. I found those restocked this week. We've also got some window decals with the leaves. It kind of has like a shimmer glitter around the outside edge of the leaves. They have one that has pumpkins and sunflowers. And then one that has like different pictures of fall scenery with the words harvest some um, halloween ribbon there's the halloween deco mesh they also have the tool stocked a lot of it's glow in the dark or glitter they have the led light sets and then some painting sets so these are those small wood cutouts on a stand that you can paint comes with three paints and a paintbrush we've got the little ghost here some of them have some gold glitter accents on them um, and then every once in a while, you'll find some that doesn't have any of the glitter on it. It's just a solid wood piece. But there's some fall pieces with like the truck. There's a pumpkin, a turkey. There's a cornucopia in one of them, a scarecrow. There's also some craft kits. This is the six piece kit where you get three of each um, scarecrow on a stick. They have these adorable felt crafts. You get three um different crafts and there's two of each in each pack six total if you watched uh, yesterday's video i actually put those together to do a review and then we've got the headband craft to make um comes with the headband all the felt and tool that you need in the tubing to make the headbands we've got this diy kit it's a wooden um little like box that has a bird on top or an owl one's like a crow and they're really cute because there's a box that you could put the gears together and then the wings will flap. So they have the bat also. I tried to get some close-ups so you guys could see all the pieces. 
it shows like the gears with the on off switch and it has the screws and stuff inside and everything you need to put it together we've also got these ceramic pieces here they look kind of like a tombstone there's some places at the top where you can put some wording and here's uh, the one with the spider web some of them look like old books because so if you look at this side it has the um like little lines that look like pages to a book so i thought those are really cute there's a view of the back and then the bottom they have the large felt placemats this is the maple leaf the red maple leaf with the glitter around the edges they have the orange maple leaf a sunflower it has glitter on the center and then we've got the large pumpkin that also has glitter around the outside edge. And these are stickers. These little um, turkey stickers are so cute. They also have the pumpkin stickers, which are adorable. And the scarecrows. Those are all put together already. There's some more paper plate crafts. There's a scarecrow, a pumpkin, and a turkey. Then I found these self-adhesive stencils. These are not reusable. You can reuse them maybe once or twice. Um, and you can move them around, but once you peel them off, they're pretty much done for unless you're able to remove them a little bit easier than I was. I actually did a craft with them this week that I'll be posting on Thursday of next week. And um, I didn't find it that easy to remove the stencil and reuse it. So you guys will see that in the um, review. So then we have the uh, sentiment stencils. There's a whole bunch of packs of these and you actually get two in a pack. Um, so make sure you check out the back because there's two different stencils in there. Those are reusable. We've got these color your own ornaments. They have the witch's hat, a ghost, a jack-o'-lantern. There's the black cat. It comes with the hanger and you get eight pieces in each packet. Then we have the traditional just pumpkin. Those are the ornaments that have an eight piece count as well. We've got the fox and then they have like the coffee cup with the cappuccino, like a coffee or something like that in there. There's the maple leaf. And then we've got the large wood DIY pieces with the haunted house in the frame. One that says Happy Halloween with the frame around it. They brought back the large wooden words that say Trick or Treat and Happy Halloween. So these we definitely have seen the last few years and they have brought them back again this year. They also brought back the Thankful and Blessed. This one that says Gather Together with the Cornucopia and Happy Harvest with the Maple Leaf. Now these round signs with the uh, words kind of lifted up off the background to give a 3d effect these are new this year at least i don't remember seeing them last year so they have the trick-or-treat poison and then this one here it says eek with the bat at the bottom so those are really cute or you can get just the flat wood pieces they've got the acorn back this year the large pumpkin and then they also had the turkey that one is a repeat item as well and the maple leaf they have the small wooden pieces that look like apples. You get eight in each pack. They have acorns. And they had quite a bit of those up on the pack over by the ornaments mainly. Then I found these beaded um, tassels with the uh, maple leaves. You could get the white beads or the natural color beads with the maple leaf attached. This year so far, I've not seen any of the ones that are monogrammed like they had last year they have these brooms with the scarecrows on them a couple different color hats you just kind of have to look through there um they had, do have a couple different ones and then they have the scarecrows on the picks with the different color hats you can either get the blue and gray pack the orange and yellow or the blue and green and we have the owls and there's two of those one in a green or orange hat these miniature pillows one says fall into autumn this one with the gnomes is so cute. We've also got the little red truck that says blessings. And then the scarecrow. They have a bunch of football crafts this year. So these are supposed to look like a pumpkin um, that is dressed up like a football. And they have a couple different colors. So even though they look the same, if you look through them, they actually have some different color schemes of the footballs, like the darker or the lighter color. They have some that have words on the front that are set up to look like a pumpkin as well with the stem at the top. Those are really cute. I really like how they paid attention to the detail and made it look like the signs have real leather on them like the footballs normally do. There's a couple different football signs with different sayings. The vertical sign here that says family fall football and then a few that have hangers on them. 
that you can hang either vertical or horizontal. There's a few different ones. They have this one. It says fall means football, y'all. And then some more of the ones in the tabletop decor. So lots of boxes of those. They have this welcome sign. Those footballs hanging there also have the faux leather, which is really cute. We've got the darker orange. And then they have the white football with the brown stitching. I thought those are really cute. They brought back the tabletop decor that looks like a mason jar. So they have, oh my gourd. I love fall. It has a metal accent at the top. It says, I love fall most of all with the cream color background. The green says, and all things give thanks. And then the brown one says, thankful, grateful, and truly blessed. We've also got these tabletop decor. It looks like a jug of sealed cinnamon mulled wine. They have the fresh apple cider and the pumpkin punch. We've also got this one here. It looks like a cup of coffee that says, happy fall, y'all. Thankful and blessed. And then happy pumpkin spice. And if you look in the background, you can see how thick these are with all the tops there. They have the happy pumpkin spice season. And then these tabletop decorations, the pumpkin that says welcome, a leaf that says grateful, and an acorn that says thankful. And those have the faux leather accents. This is a two pack of, um, or like a duo of pumpkins. One's plaid, one's painted a plain color with a saying on the front. It has a raffia bow on the top of the larger pumpkin. These also are a tabletop decor. Here's a view of the back. They brought back the large tabletop decor signs that say fall is in the air. They had these out last year. We have thankful, grateful, and blessed. And then two more, one of them that says harvest with the pumpkin truck and pumpkin spice for life. Then they have these candle uh, stands. They have the ones that are pumpkins. You've got the orange and the kind of like a yellow orange. Then we've got the white and it's like a, a greenish gray color. And here's a view from the sides. So they sit about four inches tall. We also have the leaves. They have the yellow, orange, green, and red. More of like a burgundy. It has really pretty details in the leaves. I really like the leaves a lot this year. I thought they were really pretty and well done. They also have some of these candlesticks that look like an acorn. You can get the all brown or the brown with the white. There's a view from the side. We've got these aluminum or tin pails. Planters, they have thankful and blessed. Gather together and be grateful with all the leaves on the outside. And then the plaid one that says simply blessed. We also have some cupcake wrappers. You get 10 of these in a packet. There's a couple different ones. We've got this one with like the turkeys and pies, some pumpkins, acorns and leaves. And then this one has the pumpkins, wheat, a cooked turkey. They also brought back these large steaks with the pumpkins on them that are wrapped in like a, a braided raffia. We've got the dark brown, the all white, and then the light tan. And they had some that looked like they were covered in moss. And these are called a muted pumpkin. They're just a foam pumpkin. They have a more realistic uh, look to them with the paint that they put on. So we've got the darker orange, a little bit lighter orange, the white and the green. And they come in different shapes. They're not all exactly the same. We have some taller and then some shorter, fatter pumpkins. They brought back the leather wrapped pumpkins. You get the dark brown, the tan, the orange or the gray. And they do have the plastic stem at the top. They had these out last year. If you guys remember last year, they had just brought these out. And then we've got the smaller pumpkins as well. And you get those in a three pack. Those are the leather pumpkins with the clip on the back. They also have the small pumpkins with the flowers and gourds and some greenery at the top. They had these out last year. They brought back the faux wool pumpkins. We've got the light gray, the burgundy. There's a cream colored one, it has little speckles of pink throughout it. There's also the all white with the gold stem. And then we've got the blue one. They brought back the small plaid pumpkins with the twine at the top. It has this really cute faux leather tag. And then they say thankful with some beads at the side. There's a couple different colors. Again, those were out last year. 
Here are the smaller um, pumpkins with the clips on the back. They have the buffalo plaid. Those are smaller. They don't have a clip. Those come in a bag and you get five. We've also got the, it's kind of like a velour, like a crushed velvet. You get five of those. Those are the small miniature pumpkins. Or you can get them with the three pack and those do have the clip on the back. They've got them in pink, the dark navy blue. They have a light silver, the lighter blue. It's almost like a country blue. They have this really dark green. And then the rust color. And like I said, those are the three packs. So they're a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. You can get a five pack. And again, they have the rust, the dark navy blue. They have the pink, the five pack of silver, the light blue, and the dark green. You can get those on a pick as well. You'll get three of them on the stem. It also has some curly uh, brown accent on the sides. We've got the jack-o'-lantern lanterns. These are metal yard stakes. We've got the gnomes. This one says happy fall. And then happy fall with the gnome sitting on top of a pumpkin. One with a green hat and he's holding a pumpkin. We've also got two scarecrows and I found these up close to the leaf garland. We've got the welcome sign with the girl scarecrow and the boy scarecrow. Those are really cute. They brought back the rub on transfers with the leaves and pumpkins. There's three of those. These are a felt craft. They've got the hat, a pumpkin wearing a hat, a cat, and a ghost. And we've got this garland. They have the spiders. The purple one are bats. You get 25 feet. We've got the silver that is a skeleton. And then the all white will be the ghost. And they have these two packs of bows. These are all weather bows. So these can go outside. We've got the plaid. And then they also have the ones with the pumpkins. We have the red, green, and yellow plaid. The fall leaves. And here they are all together. So those are the ones I found so far. We've also got the maple leaf um, dishes. Those are those plastic like little serving trays they bring out each year. And they brought them back again this year. Now these signs here are new. They're like a tabletop decor that looks like a rolling pin. And there are three of them. We've got the all white that says falling leaves. The orange that says hello pumpkin. And then the green one that says give thanks. We also have this four pack of scarecrow hats. You can find these at Hobby Lobby as well. So it was nice to find them for $1.25. I think they're $3 at Hobby Lobby. They brought back the um, sunflowers in the two different sizes. You either get the six or the nine piece. They also have the wreath hangers that say thankful. That's the orange hanger. They have the all white with the sunflower. And then the blue and orange. The blue one has a bike and the orange has the pumpkins on it. Then some signs for your house or the door. They have give thanks, the large pumpkin. There's also this blue pumpkin. These all have like a metal accent on them. This one, the metal accent says sweet. And the white one here, the metal accent says blessed. Some framed art with the beaded hanger. We have hello pumpkin, pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. The gnome, it says autumn days are best. And then the coffee, it says autumn leaves and lattes, please. They also have the happy fall. This is like a 3D sign. So that pumpkin in the middle stands up off of the background. There's the pumpkin spice, also a 3D sign. Gather. And then the one with the buffalo plaid background that says autumn is calling. And these look like a picket fence with the pumpkins in front of it. it has the metal accent that says pumpkin. This one has the sunflowers. It says pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes, and then the ones that look like cutting boards. There's the pumpkin patch, five pounds, five cents a pound you pick. Farm fresh pumpkins, pick your own with the green truck, and hello fall with the floral wreath. This is a repeat from last year, the harvest blessings, and the one with the sunflowers that says give thanks. These are also repeat signs, the farm fresh fall, pumpkin patch 
and pumpkin patch. Pick your own farm fresh apples, corn, pumpkins, and gourds. The homemade hot apple cider is served here. And leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. Autumn pumpkins. Pick your own. Farm fresh. Open daily. Hay rides at dusk. And fall blessings. We also found this sign that says family where life begins and love never ends. And they had these new ones out. Looks like a pie with the rolling pin at the bottom. It says um, autumn welcome. This one says harvest blessings and pumpkin pie. Thankful. These are those metal signs that look like a wagon full of pumpkins. It says farm fresh pumpkins in red and happy fall y'all with the blue wagon. Then these are new, these little hedgehogs, they're so cute. They also have a squirrel and a fox. These are absolutely adorable. I love how cute they're painted and they have almost like a 3D effect the way they've layered the pieces. And we have this pumpkin, it says thankful and blessed. It's another sign with a hanger. They have a leaf that says give thanks. And then the ones with the recipes on the front, which are so cute. There's the pumpkin pie, apple pie, and the hot apple cider recipe. We've got these large signs that say farm fresh, pumpkin patch, hay rides, corn maize, hot cider, and fall breeze, autumn leaves. We also have these gorgeous pumpkins with the wooden tag that say blessed. The orange one says grateful. And the cream colored one here also says thankful. The pumpkins that say fall in love. And then these signs here, one says autumn blessings, happy fall. And they look like a pumpkin. They've got a stem at the top with the leaves. And then all you need is love and pumpkin pie. They have one that says home. The home is in glitter. And then these are a metal pumpkin. It says hello fall with the sunflowers. Harvest Blessings it has a raffia bow at the top. Hooray for Pumpkin Spice. And then this one that says Happy Harvest. They also had these glitter branches for Halloween. You can get them in orange, purple, silver, and black. And they're on a long stake. It's almost like a metal stake. So you can use these for different flower arrangements. Then I found this twig garland. It's four feet long. It's also covered in glitter. You can get it in either red, the black, or the purple. And they did have these out last year as well. I also found these ornaments. You get them in a five pack. They're mostly clear or have a um, holographic look to them and some glitter. And now for the Dollar Tree Plus items, which are the three and five dollar items. They have these plush throw blankets with the gnomes, pumpkins, and leaves. They are five dollars. You could also get one with um, a white background and a bunch of fall leaves or the sunflowers. They have these LED mist maker cauldrons for $5. And then these tabletop signs that say blessed on one side. If you flip it over, it says gather. Those are $3 each. They have one in this pretty orange. It says hello fall. And the opposite side says welcome. They also have these large porch style signs that lean it says, hey boo, thankful, beware. I have the Wicked Witch is in, or sorry, just the witch is in. Haunted, the orange one that says welcome with the skull for the O. And then they have this sign, it says welcome with the witch's broom. And then it says, uh, boo. And then this one says spooky eek. We have the two tiered tray that's five dollars they had these out last year they're actually quite nice i own one and it's still holding up really well after a year and that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i know this was a long one don't forget to subscribe like and share and here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy please like and share these videos it really helped me out and i hope you all have a blessed weekend